Hello. Hello, hello, Vega Mama Me here. It's looking a little dark. I don't know why. I hope you can see it. Okay. So I put just a drop of sesame seed oil, some tofu. We only actually used a couple pieces of the tofu. Diced it up small. Now I'm going to fry it. Just a little. And let's bring you on over here, huh? Let's see. Can you see? No. Here we go. I'm gonna fry this up a little. Let it go a second. Few peas I'm gonna add to it. Let's see how this is going. It's really not ready to stir yet. Not ready to flip, so let them go a little bit longer. You know, sometimes you get impatient and you want to start flipping, but really, for myself too. But the best thing to do is let it go for a second. All right, should be ready to turn a little bit, flip it all on over. Depending how, how much, you know, how crispy you like your tofu, depends totally on you. I like crispy. Everything I eat, I like crisp. So I'm going to fry it up a little bit. Not too much oil, even though it's very tempting to put a little bit more. We don't want to. There we go. Coming along. Okay, I'll come back again in a minute. Okay. So I have onions that I put in here. One onion. And then I had some things diced up in the freezer already for stir fries. That's the easiest way to go. I had carrots and celery and uh, 
even I had a few radishes so I have some diced up radishes the radishes can be optional stir fries are your choice whatever you like So I didn't add any water because they were frozen. It threw off a little water. Alright, so you let that stir up a little bit, fry up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so then I just add it um, about a half of a green pepper that I cut up, and some mushroom, and a little bit of ginger. bit of garlic doesn't take too long with a stir fry it goes pretty quick I didn't add any more oil or anything like that I haven't even added any water yet I am going to shortly Okay, so let's let this cook up, guys. Okay, so everything's pretty well cooked up there. It's not to the point where it's um, soft. It's still a little bit crispy, so I'll go ahead and add a few peas. Just a few, not too many. And then I'm going to add a few pieces of broccoli. Stir it on up. Add a little bit of water. Not too, too much. Because then we'll be steaming it if we do that. And I don't want to steam it at this point. Alright. And you know, with your broccoli and even the peas, you don't really have to cook up too much. But because it was frozen, I'm going to let it cook just for a second. And I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch. Probably like maybe a half a teaspoon. Oop, or a little more. I didn't actually mean to add that much, but... Alright. So when I put my my liquid in here. I'm going to add a little liquid. Um, it'll thicken it up so that I can put it on the rice. Alright. There we go. So this is just about ready for me to add the seasonings that I'm going to add. And I already have it mixed up. And I'll tell you what I have in here. 
I have two tablespoons of um, soy sauce. I have two tablespoons of maple syrup and um, I put a little bit of tomato paste like a quarter of a teaspoon maybe a half and then I put garlic um, garlic powder garlic garlic powder onion powder um, and yeah that was about it I put a little bit of hot sauce in there and that was it yep see that it's almost ready to go it's looking good you can see it's got a little bit of a red color so a little bit more water get rid of this this is a stem Got it. Okay. This is ready to go, and I'll put this over the rice. We'll get ready to eat. Okay. Oh, hello, Vegan Mama Me here. How are you today? Look what I have here. Mm -mm. You know what that is, guys? That is a stir fry.